Hello fellow Guardians, Bolts of the Play is bringing you another episode of Close Encounters of the Zur Kind. You know what that means? Zur is in the reef this week. This is May 27th through the 29th. Only place he ever is in the reef, just hang right, come down into the tunnel. Let's see what he's got. Nah. Okay. Titans, no backup plans. Exotic perk is Force Multiplier. Shotgun kills trigger Force Barrier, and Force Barrier's duration is increased. It's got increased discipline or strength. It's got rain blows or momentum transfer. Shotgun loader or rocket launcher loader. So if you're a shotgun or a titan and you like Force Barrier to help get you closer in, definitely worth a pickup. Um, especially if you do dual shotguns, which I'm against, but <laughs> Universal Ramon and another shotgun of your choice. Hunters have the ATS-8 Arachnid Helmet. Its exotic perk is Arachnid Sensorium. Your golden gun zooms in for accuracy when aimed and can be kept ready for longer. It's got increased strength or increased intellect. It's got inverse shadow or heavy lifting, and then invigoration. Um, could be worth it. The keeping ready for longer, I know it's like the golden gun; it just disappears so fast. And that um, the zoom, I don't really care for, because I'm usually not. It, if you're cross mapping people with the golden gun, the zoom is very helpful. But just zooming in, it just kind of bugs out my eyes at least when I'm closer to a target and need to zoom in. It's like zooming in with a sniper quick with a close range so if you're used to that without a scope actually popping up. But the keeping it ready for longer is very helpful if you're a golden gunner. Um, I typically use the arms though for the double trip mines. Starfire Protocol, chest armor for the Warlocks. Its exotic perk is Starfire Protocol. Gain an additional fusion grenade. It's got increased discipline or increased strength. Special ammo or heavy ammo. Void burn defense or solar armor. So if you're a Sun Singer and you like fusion grenades, this is the only time it's going to be worthwhile. Um, I barely ever seen anyone with a fusion. It's usually fire bolts. Some people like the solar, but I hardly ever see them with fusion. When fire bolts are just so good and put a dot, you can use like if you put a dot on people with them, that you don't have to throw it right at them. It's just if something happens with fire bolts, this one might be worthwhile. But for right now, it's not that great of a exotic. The gun this week is Bad Juju Pulse Rifle. It's a full auto. Got smooth ballistics, soft ballistics, or smart drift control, hip fire, armor piercing rounds, send it, or perfect balance. And the exotic perk is string of curses. After each kill, this weapon will reload instantly and increase damage for a short time. Kills will charge your super. So it's not that great of a gun on its own it's a decent gun but there's better there's better legendaries out there just one for one but this perk here in certain situations can make this gun great to use so like if there's a poe or something that's got certain perks running like if you're doing the challenge of elders where there's supers this could be helpful match this with the obsidian mine on a void walker nova bomb with the certain rolls on your Voidwalker, and you've pretty much got a Nova Bomb every five seconds. <laughs> so. But it is very helpful for, like, charging your super. And then last up, we have the Legacy Engram for this week, a.k.a. Year One Exotics. It will drop a Year One Exotic, nothing more. And it's Gauntlets this week. Curious this week, we have the Plasma Drive. Or the Stealth Drive, turns your rare Sparrows into Legendaries. 
We have heavy ammo synthesis, three of them for one strange coin. We have three of coins. We get five of them for seven strange coins. We have glass needles. For three strange coins, three motes of light, and one exotic shard, you'll get three of them. And then the material exchange. For two strange coins, you can get a mote of light. So that was Zer stock for the weekend of May 27th through the 29th. Not anything super amazing, some decent ones, depending on how you roll. Hopefully next week we'll get something better. And then I'd love to see if he ever brings back an exotic engram now, or if it's just going to constantly be guns now after the update. Uh, make sure to like, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts on what Zer brought this week, what you're hoping for out of him next week or sometime in the near future. Uh, make sure to check out my other videos at youtube.com slash c slash boltzilla plays and you can check me out streaming from time to time over at twitch.tv slash boltzilla plays until next time guardians take it easy